Good morning all. I wrap Dean of Glynn and Associates with your morning flash update for this Monday as we're here now on May 13th, 2019. We're getting on the 9.15 a.m. Central Daylight Time. As you can see, it's a sea of red in the stock market and the reason is China has done its retaliation. They've announced tariffs now on 60 billion worth of U.S. imports. The tariffs range from 5 to 25 percent. They go into effect on June 1st and we don't have the list yet but there's about 5,000 items that they're going to do. Then the U.S. has begun the 60-day grace period where we're talking of the 300, million plus, uh, 300 billion plus on tariffs of additional goods. So the tit for tats go along. China came out and basically said, you're not going to tell us the laws we have to do and blah, blah, and the U.S. is supposed to trust them. Forget that. The U.S. will play its hand out is what you're seeing for the stock market down. You might wonder why the gold is up, and it's not just a safe haven play. What has happened in the gold market is it took one look at what went on in the Straits of Hormuz, and up to four ships were attacked. Now, Iran has said they're looking into the situation. Oh! So what goes on there is these first rounds of attacks are now taking place. Our fleet, probably not in position yet, but once they are in position, they'll have the, uh, the AWACS, everything else looking around to see what's going on. And at that point, we'll have a pretty good handle on things. In the grain markets, you're getting another down move. No Chinese deal where you're going to get rid of this additional grain, so you're stockpiling away. If you take a look at what's going on in the bonds and the notes, safe haven bids coming there, and look at the yen up suddenly 70 points almost. Now what's interesting in the yen, just so you get an idea and drop to the bottom here, the index of economic conditions compiled by their cabinet office fell to nine tenths of a percent from the February March. In other words, it fell by almost a full percentage point. They have a new consumption tax that's supposed to come out late autumn. I don't know if they're going to be able to go ahead with that. What bothers me is I keep looking at people buying the yen, and I realize it's a safe haven play, but they have a lot of exposure to China. Remember, where do they get their money? A lot of it is in machinery goods, big capital items. So there's concern there. Where do you go with all this today? Well, obviously the stock market's not through pricing in the newness of this. It will get there, but more tariffs to come. The U.S., what are we going to do by the 18th with Europe on the automobile tariffs? Don't know yet. How many fights do we want to get? And do we ever solve our Mexican-Canadian treaty that is supposedly done? So there's something for everybody. The problem is safe haven plays to the upside right now. Most other markets in the toilet. And obviously energy's a threat of oil. How do you get it through the Strait of Hormuz? And that's giving that a bid. I want to remind you, one of the things that we try to do is offer information on all this. And if your mailbox isn't full, and I'm talking obviously your email box, of information on all these categories, breaking news as they happen, with the commodity bent to it intentionally, well, we do this. And we do this all day long. So for a commodity trader, the one thing they need to know is why, what's going on, what's the take on it. If you'd like to see what we write for our commercial users, our speculators, be it options, the futures markets, spread markets, in these markets, we offer it to you. Voice commentaries, by the way, come through our trade platforms and the like. If you'd like to try our information, give us a call. You can go to our website at www.irapstein.com. You'll see a carousel of free offers. Click on it, choose what you want, and let us put it in your hand. I'm Ira. You have a good day. I'll see you at the end of the day video.